Hi there. Welcome everyone to this uh, short XTR demo. My name is Christopher van der Maade. I'm a product manager in the Cisco XTR team, and I focus specifically on automation and response. So today I would like to show you a couple of quick things. Um, so this is not a comprehensive demo. It's just to show you a couple of new things. So let's start with our integrations. So XTR obviously is only as strong as its integrations. So one thing I wanted to call out first is the broad depth and uh, breadth of integrations that we have, as you can see. I have many already integrated, but there are a lot more available. So what I can do is um, all of these uh, integrations nowadays also create something which is called an XTR target. So if you're not familiar with this, this is pure a usually an HTTP destination where you want to um, take certain actions on. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of uh, target types, um, but we now also have these specific uh, types for an integration um, like Secure Endpoint, Orbital, WebEx, uh, ServiceNow or others. So what I'm going to show you is how you can actually very quickly get started with automation just by integrating um, a solution in here. Let's say we pick Orbital. This one has no issues, as you can see, and I can explore automation workflows in Exchange. So I could jump from here straight into the Exchange and see, as you can see, it's already filtered but there's a whole bunch of other filters that we have uh, on Orbital. Suppose that I wanna learn more about this one. I'll just click on it. And as you can see, it automatically detects that I have the integration enabled, um, both for the Cisco XDR APIs, which is obviously not a real integration, but it does have one of those targets as well, as well as Orbital. So I could literally install this with like a few clicks um, only and get to work. And as you can see, this workflow is actually created uh, to work inside of, an, um, uh, inside of an incident. So you can actually do an orbital query for all assets that were available in an incident. So in order to do that, I would actually have to go to my automation rules, which is an, uh, a fairly new concept as well in XTR where you have instant rules and other type of rules, and you have them priority ordered or standalone. Standalone means they would also always execute. Priority means it executes top down, and when a rule condition match, it will usually stop processing, but that's optional. So here I have my catch all rule. And in this, I created a catch all rule. I didn't add any conditions but I could add any, any set of conditions using the metadata of that incident. For example, the MITRE tactics, or uh, maybe the status of the incident. There's a whole bunch of things that you could use to um, create conditions. The next step then obviously is to execute certain workflows based on those conditions. So what I did here is I have that X, uh, that orbital script and a WebEx notification, both working on the targets that I showed you earlier that are based on the integrations that I showed you before that. So to see this in action, we would obviously need an incident because this gets triggered when an incident gets created. So I have one opened here already uh, where you can see how to actually automatically execute it. So you can see here that they, um, the orbital script executed and that an orbital job ID has been created. So if I click on this, it would actually open, open up that query that has been done um, that would show the, uh, the, the user sessions from that device. And there's a whole bunch of other catalog um, queries that you could do, but we just chose one here as, a, as an example. And the other one would be the WebEx alert. And just to show you how that would look, here you can see that WebEx alert uh, with a bot and you can view that incident directly, which would bring me here. 
Um, now you could do this fully automatic as I just showed you, but we also have these workflows available that live inside of the so-called playbook. So you can execute them from here as well. And you could see that the workflow executed and you could actually see the fully um, executed workflow from here as well in this drawer. Uh, and obviously it's also available here. As you can see, the ServiceNow ticket has been created. So that is how easy it is to work with XDR incidents, automation rules, and the response playbook. Um, if you want to learn more about this, you can go to developer.cisco.com slash docs slash Cisco dash XDR. And you can read a lot about all of the various APIs that we have, but we also have brand new learning labs, which uh, explain everything that I just did and a lot more. Um, so we have a full track on automation. We have an intro track as well, and we have a whole bunch of advanced labs, including how to create your own custom incidents using automation workflows. So I hope you enjoyed this short demo, and um, I hope that you also will, um, yeah, uh, check out these trainings and docs and uh, get started for yourself. All right. Thank you for listening and enjoy.